Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to this interactive reading, Messages from Your Angels. So what your angels want you to know right now. My name is Lisa Lyle. This is my channel here on YouTube. My website is lisalyle.com, and you can find me on social media, Wisdom of the Heart. So if you're new to this channel and these readings, welcome. Thank you so much for showing up and choosing to be here now. Please take a moment to get yourself familiar with this space. There's lots here, lots of interactive and timeless messages. And I trust that whatever message you land on, you will find something in it in the moment that supports your journey of healing. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, drop a comment down below um, as your engagement really supports the ability of this channel and myself to grow. And for that, I am eternally grateful. So uh, you may have noticed in the thumbnail um, that there were three piles of cards. I would encourage you, if you haven't had a look at it, to pause this video, go take a look at it and um, see where your heart's guiding you to number one, two, or three. And so we are going to begin with number one. I'm going to have a look at the cards, and then we'll begin bringing the messages through. Oh, the angel of space clearing. So, I mean, her message is pretty obvious. There's a need for you to clear away the clutter from your home space, from your home, the house you live in, the home you live in, as well as your physical body. Um, it's feeling like there's been some energy stuck and stagnant, and it has had you feeling a little unsettled. And first and foremost, the clearer the home space is, mind, body, and spirit as well. When I'm speaking of home, I'm speaking of your physical vessel as well as the container in which you live. It's very, if, if we're not moving things around and shifting the energy, very quickly energy can get pretty stagnant and um, come to a standstill, not being fluid and flowing. And we really want to keep energy flowing. Trust your intuition as to what you're being guided to do, where you're being guided to clear, um, because these are what I'm hearing are critical areas of your life that are in need of an overhaul so that you can experience the newness of energy that's flowing in and that's incredibly supportive to you on this journey. You're also being asked to get out of your mind and into your heart. So your mind is going to keep you confused and you actually won't hear your angels. You won't be receiving the guidance that is readily available to you if you're up here in the mind space, very cluttered, very confused, chaotic at times. And so there is a need for you to, um, and I'm seeing um, cancel, clear, delete. So giving you a clean slate. It is time to clear out the old negative thoughts and feelings. So whatever you've been hanging on to is going to hang in there as long as you're holding on to it. It, there is uh, a need for a release. You must be willing to release and let go. And then you got the Sword of Orion, and it says, look inside. So this is what you're being called to do. And again, if your home space, if the home environment is cluttered, you're going to have a very, it's going to have a detrimental impact on your energy, either a detrimental or an uplifting one on your energy your ability to heal, your ability to hear, um, your spirit team that loves and supports you. And I'm feeling like this is a time to cut away and clear away anything that is not your truth. And so this could be, you know, um, beliefs held, uh, beliefs that have been held for generations, beliefs that were instilled within your family, perhaps an education system, organization, even the company you work with and the company you keep. So it's like clearing away everything that's not yours until you're left with nothing but the radiance of your soul in this physical experience. And this is going to support your ability to come home to balance, to restore your home, 
your physical body as well as the container you live in to balance. It's up to you to really tune in and tap in to the innate wisdom that resides within you. And if you're not hearing your angels, ask. Angels are always with us. They're ever present. And yet they do not interfere in our lives. They wait for us to ask their permission, to ask for their help. And then they jump, uh, you know, jump right into service. Um, so communication with your angels is key. It's going to help you to achieve the stability and balance you're actually longing for. And then you've got Archangel Michael. So if nothing else, Archangel Michael carries his sword of truth and he's here to help you clear away, cut any ties that connect you and keep you bound to what was back there. Trust that within you is all the power that you could ever need to heal, to manifest your dreams, to come clean with yourself, to clean up your life, and to really live in the abundance that is your divine birthright. On the Archangel Michael card, it says, I am presence. So let's just tune in and ask the ancestors if they can offer any further clarity to group number one. Further clarity. Autumn. And, and what I'm feeling here as soon as I connect with this card is like what is old is meant to fall and die away. And it actually becomes the compost, um, the fertile ground in which your new life can um, be born. For some of you, it says that release the old and rest. So this is a time of rest. And for some of you, you're not really going to begin to see the external manifestation of your desires, of your efforts until the time of autumn, the season autumn. And let's just get a little kiss of love from your higher self. Innocence. Yes, it is the purity of your heart that is meant to guide the way. You are wise, wonderful, incredibly gifted, um, delightfully talented, and it is a return to innocence that is leading the way to this abundant new growth, this new day that is the blank canvas upon which you get to paint and play. It says innocence, purity, joy. You are being urged to just be you. You are the light of joy in this world. Expect positive outcomes to flow from your honesty and pure intentions. So group number one, those are beautiful messages from your angels. I trust they have felt supportive to you in this now moment. Um, now let's get to number two. Oh, the angel of families. So for some of you at this time, you're concerned, you're worried about your loved ones, you're worried about your children, you're worried about your families. And this message comes to let you know that your family is safe and protected. And you can work with your angels through prayers and intentions and really place this blanket of protection around your loved ones. I'm hearing the message that it's out of your hands and it's in God's hands. So just know that your loved ones are safe and protected and they, like you, are being guided. I'm also he feeling and hearing that this is a time of transformation within the family unit. And it, it feels like you are like the um, touchstone within that unit. And as the touchstone, it's important for you to know how incredibly powerful you are. And your, um, your love, your intentions, the purity of your beautiful heart really supports your loved ones around you to um, come home to their senses is what I'm hearing, as well as to remember the light of who they are and remember that we are each born a beautiful and worthy and deserving child of God. Ah, I am the Emerald Goddess, and it talks about fertility. This is a time where I really feel that you're being called to shine, and you're really being shown that you are incredibly powerful and gifted, and that your connection to the angelic realms 
is incredibly strong. So growing that connection, growing your connection to the earth and really using your connection to Mother Earth to transmute all this density and the lower vibratory energies which seem to have a hold on this planetary realm and perhaps within your family unit because your health, mind, body, and spirit is of the utmost importance. In fact, it's the priority. Without our health, we don't have much and health is truly wealth. And this is Archangel Raphael. So, you know, we had Archangel Michael with the first group and now Archangel Raphael. And these two archangels really come to support the healers of the world. Those of us that are the wounded healers, you know, we've been through it and you've been through it clearly. And perhaps you're still going through it. And just know that the power is in your hands. And literally, they're showing me placing your hands on a, a parts of your body where the energy feels stagnant and blocked and perhaps quite dense. And then you've got Uriel. Trust. Trust your process. Trust that you are a gifted healer. Trust that you are... Um, you have this really strong connection to the angelic realms and nurture that connection, work with that connection, and particularly out in nature. I feel nature is key for you and it's really going to help you to return home to you and to remember the power and the gifts um, ancient and innate that reside within you in this current now moment. So we'll take those two because they flipped. Oh, perfect. Because you are the oracle. You are an oracle. You are the oracle of your life, in your life. Sacred ceremony, rituals, daily practices that really support you in nurturing the innate wisdom, the oracle that resides within you. Ah, and the she-wolf, powerful. This is powerful, powerful stuff. Unleash the wild within, unleash the medicine within is what I'm hearing. And your trusting and following your intuition is uh, going to support your family, going to help your family to heal as individuals and as within the family unit as well. I'm feeling strongly um, that it's very important for you to create ceremonies and rituals to trust your intuition with respect to the medicine, particularly of the plant kingdom, that is supportive to you and, and really allowing that wisdom to flow through you because your higher self is bringing this message, the aura of love, unconditional love flows from you. And this is what those who come in contact with you feel, this beautiful aura of love and allow your aura to lead the way and embrace others to support them to find their way, particularly if this has to do with family um, and in particular children in your life. And it says the union of light and dark of earth and sky, balancer of anima and animus, the merging of two souls, acknowledge the feminine and masculine aspects of yourself, both yin and yang, to create a powerful balance. And the balance is achieved within you and the balance is created from within you. So thank you for the sacred work that you do. Number two, I trust those messages resonated with and support you in this now moment that you are receiving them. And here we go. Number three, let's see. Ah, the goddess of knowledge within you is ancient wisdom that is ready to burst forth and flow through. Start to apply what you already know and trust your intuition. So this is a period of great growth for you and incredibly expansive growth. So this is about trusting your intuition above all else. You know, not going to consult with someone else, not, oh, should I or shouldn't I? Whatever your first hit is, do that. Don't second guess yourself. Don't doubt your intuition. The more you trust your intuition and act upon it, the stronger it grows. Oh, right, because you are here on this path of mastery. Meditation is key for you at this time. Meditation and devotional practice, 
towards your sacred soul essence each and every day is key at this time because you truly are an earth angel and your mission has been written in the stars and it is time to start serving from your beautiful heart and the serving begins with the self-service through self-care practices ritual and ceremony uh, Archangel Metatron because the child within you seeks healing the child within you seeks the love and support the child within you seeks the unconditional acceptance of all that you are all of your experiences the acceptance of divine truth that resides within grows your power this is this is your power the <laughs> this is your liberation acknowledging and you can see the golden light here this is about your personal power and your direct line your direct communication to source nurture your connections to the unseen realms because it's the unseen realms that support your seeing what is here and now in the physical realm in the in the physicality that is your life you were born to shine bright and abundance is your divine birthright my ears ringing like crazy and so pay attention you are receiving downloads you don't need to know what the ringing in the ear means at the moment simply welcome it create the space to allow it to come into your experience anchor and connect with mother earth and when you need to know that information will come through crystal clear stag the divine masculine the divine masculine within you is on the rise and the divine masculine stands there guiding and supporting the sacred feminine who is coming back to life who is restoring divine birthright through the purity of her heart through the nurturing and healing of her inner child this says trust and thrive absolutely trust your intuition and you are going to thrive and your intuition is just going to grow and grow and grow as will your abundance as will your belief and faith in yourself and your gifts and those unseen realms which are always right there willing and able to support at your command and so a final message here from your higher self right here and it is called tranquility and it says trust all will turn out well everything will fall into place peace of mind and tranquility result so yes you're in this really beautiful place of inner knowing you're growing um, you're being guided and supported and the medicine woman the medicine man that resides within you wants to come to the surface bubbling up to support your personal healing and as you heal you support the personal healing of the collective you support the personal healing of others as well as the collective healing that is taking place on this planetary realm at this time so thank you number threes i trust that these messages have resonated and supported all of you whenever you're receiving them please show your love with a thumbs up and a comment down below and of course that golden subscribe i am so grateful for your presence in my life thank you thank you thank you